As you all may know, MatPat, the former host of the extremely popular web series Game Theory along with its other related channels, has officially retired from his position as a YouTube influencer as of March the 9th. He had originally put out a statement regarding his retirement from the internet two months ago, but now the day has arrived. Many people are obviously sad about this situation when his final video came out, as they basically grew up with MatPat for numerous years. As his content developed and grew with more videos on certain topics being pushed out, so did his audience, and both his content and his audience matured over a period of time. So to see someone as influential and wholesome as MatPat take a step back from being a media influencer was overall pretty saddening to see. His final video marked and cemented MatPat as a prominent figure in online culture, and his contribution to the platform will certainly not be forgotten, with his departure being bittersweet, ending years worth of content. However, as with all serious or sad things that happen on the internet, online degenerates and weirdos certainly take the opportunity to ruin the mood and try and start drama over the dumbest things, and we will get to the very very bad things towards the last half of this video. But the first thing to cover is how for the longest period of time, people on the internet have been attempting to cancel MatPat for being quote unquote transphobic by resurfacing years old edgy jokes that he made regarding the gender of Pyro being a TF2 character, to basically claim that MatPat was bigoted by making these joking statements. If the pyro wants to carry around a bedazzled daisy clutch, that's the pyro's choice. But the second our favorite flame-spewing sh** admits to knowing it's called a clutch, oh, then we can start to draw a conclusion. Wait, let me guess. You just stopped to check your hands, didn't you? Loyal theorists, if you need to check your fingers to tell me what team you're batting for, my friend, you have much bigger issues to grapple with than the pyro's sex. Obviously, these were edgy jokes and do not necessarily make MatPat bigoted, and also people can change their opinions and stance over time. MatPat is certainly not the person he was seven years ago necessarily, not to even mention how MatPat has gone out of his way to correct his wrongdoings, and made a statement in one of his final recent videos too, attempting to clear the waters regarding his opinion about gender identity. So to start things out, it should be noted that gender identity for young children doesn't really become a factor for several years into their life. According to research, most kids don't start to identify with one gender or another until the age of three. And it's important that they're encouraged to explore that at their own pace. The last thing we want to do is to sort kids who are still discovering themselves into boxes. And likewise, children can of course have role models who are not the same sex or gender that they are. It is awesome for boys to have role models who are women, vice versa, and everyone beyond and in between the binary. And this clip essentially should have ended the MatPat is quote unquote transphobic discourse forever. However, people are still seeming to start drama over him again, as at the end of his final video, he featured a scene where he basically knocked on someone's door, and it turns out that Scott Cawthon of all people was actually behind it. Now, for the small minority of people who don't know who Scott Cawthon is, he is essentially the creator of Five Nights at Freddy's, and was involved in a controversy a couple years back, because he essentially was getting harassed on Twitter for having Republican beliefs, and was donating to pro-Republican political candidates and charities. And Twitter being Twitter, aired all of this out to everyone, and then started doxing and harassing Scott Scott, merely because he had an opposing political opinion to them, and they attempted to even ostracize him from the community. Now, in no way whatsoever does this mean I share the same political opinions as Scott does, because I don't, but bringing up drama involving him from like two to three years ago to try and crap on him, and also MatPat in a wholesome video and moment like this is pathetic. People are complaining that MatPat is quote unquote platforming a homophobe and transphobe, or that he went against his openly pro trans state that we just discussed earlier, just because he did a video with Scott Cawthon. Other people are also on Twitter claiming that Scott Cawthon doesn't care about the genocide happening in Gaza, and also other people are making tweets such as, did everyone just collectively forget that Scott Cawthon is a freaking Republican? Shut the frick up about him. Another person states, reminder that Scott Cawthon is a scumbag who funds the Republican death cult that targets all you artists and queer folk. And someone else states, hey people, remember that Scott Cawthon is a a-hole who donates to Republican parties, right? 
And all of this is extremely immature and petty and tone deaf when considering that Scott Corfin has literally attempted to make amends and has donated tens of thousands of dollars to a pro-LGBTQ charity being the Trevor Project, as well as his history of providing $250,000 to St. Jude's in the past. Even a comment perfectly stated how Scott literally managed to donate more to the LGBTQ community in one donation than he's ever donated to the politicians in total. But now in this part of the video we'll get to the even more disgusting hate towards MatPat, as creators have literally started popping up such as Pingu Roblox, basically making videos dancing on MatPat's grave and making videos claiming he quote unquote deserved to have retired and quit YouTube. And what's even more crazy is this person has the audacity to make an apology video and in that same said apology video literally beg for Robux donations at the end of it. I mean, here's a clip. Hey everyone, I'm sorry for making fun of MotPat. Please forgive me, I did not mean it, I love MotPat. At the end of the day, I'm just a kid who wants to spread love, not hate. Please donate Robux and subscribe because I want to reach 1,000 subs. And I've got to say in all honesty, um, it's the biggest piece of dog shit that I have ever heard. But I mean, what can we really expect from Lisa Gaming clones at this point? It's 2024 and I still can't believe people still attempt to replicate her content and idolize Lisa considering she's literally been exposed for CP numerous times before, but I digress. Now, of course, other weirdo internet subgroups are having a field day with the news that MatPat quit YouTube, with some people throwing celebrations at his retirement, as well as other people making clown images of him. But what is even more demented is what the UTTP are doing. And for those who don't know what the UTTP is, it stands for the YouTube Troll Police, and they are truly a twisted, horrible group of online degenerates. And I advise you to watch my previous videos covering them. But essentially what they've done in this situation is they're actively spamming Matt MatPat's comment section and made fun of MatPat's video where he had discussed the death of a friend of his and the same channel which was doing that literally made a video right next to that video mocking a dog getting put down which is extremely sadistic and vile. Now moving on to their discord server and they are actively making comments wishing harm on MatPat and his child. Yes these people are literally wishing harm on a child while also throwing bigoted comments at him followed by literal threats towards me and these same people were literally gloating about getting a child to harm themselves while also posting the harm images of the children that they had manipulated in the server. Like, I'm just utterly disgusted with how Discord has not taken any action whatsoever in getting these servers with these deranged UTTP members taken down, let alone the police or law enforcement seeming to do absolutely nothing in dealing with these online degenerates whatsoever. Also, I would like to clarify that MatPat certainly does not deserve this hate and harassment whatsoever, and he's probably one of the least controversial YouTubers that I've ever seen. Sure, he's made some some mistakes in his past but hasn't everyone and he can literally be seen correcting them as well. So all of this hate and backlash towards him and Scott Cawthon is so out of place and tone deaf and people should just literally leave them alone. But anyway what do you think about this entire situation? Make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you're new and comment your opinions down below and obviously this video is not intended for cyberbullying, hate or harassment, this is just an educational video going over the entire situation as a whole and also make sure to watch my other videos too and I'll see you all in the next video. Goodbye.